Hi guys, welcome to another Asus Transformer Prime video. This is a request uh, for me to look at an application which will enable two devices to talk to each other. And it is called Tablet Remote. This will connect two Android devices together through Bluetooth and enable me to control one device with the other. What I'm going to demonstrate is this Samsung Galaxy S2 um, controlling this tablet uh, in a rudimentary fashion. So, here's how you set it up. You need to download the application for both devices, so um, as you will see in just one second, you can see that I've downloaded Tablet Remote for both devices. Open it up in both screens, and if you just go back to the main menu, what we'll need to do is first of all connect these two devices, so I'm going to have to go to the connection on both of them. Uh, as you can see, uh, both devices have picked up the Bluetooth, so the um, there we are. So the two devices are now Bluetooth ready. So we'll just connect them both, and there we are. The devices have now connected to each other, which is fine and dandy. And then what you need to do on both devices as well is go to the setup, and you have to actually change your keyboard input. Uh, so I have to turn tablet remote on on the phone, and I will have to do the same thing on the tablet. So turn on tablet remote and with any luck that should mean that we are now connected together and I will demonstrate this by using the remote on the Galaxy S. So you have a few options here the back button, home button, menu button, search button so let's try the back button and that sends the tablet back and if I use a home button that's going to send me all the way back there. Uh, no real actual swipe controls so I can't so control the tablet any more than um, these buttons here so uh, as you can see I can swipe across I think so double tapping there and double tapping there uh, there's some volume control as well there which can move it up and down on the right hand side and there is a brightness setting but for some reason that doesn't work so it's not absolutely perfect I think the main reason for using this is because you have the play controls down here which would enable me to watch a movie so if I just play something uh, so that's now going to start playing a film. So we have a film playing there, and then we can choose to pause it. Or we can, in this case with the MX video, I can track back 20 se 10 seconds and just uh, a little bit of tracking feature there, and then tracking forward. And again, the play pot function is working and I can skip forward to another episode and so it is working. So at the moment I'm showing the two devices working sat next to each other let's see how this is actually more practical if you wanted to use it in a real world setting. So I've now set up a Transformer Prime right there and it's playing a television program on the television so let's try and play it and see if it works and there we are. So I now have a remote control for my Transformer Prime, which is not bad for a free device. So I hope that satisfies the demonstration for you there. Let's just quickly uh, try some more buttons, use a home screen, go back there. There's the search button, so I could search, but unfortunately <laughs> I don't really have a way to search because I have no keyboard. Um, and that ABC button there it doesn't really seem to do anything. So not a perfect device, but it is a remote control and it is for free. So on the surface, using tablet remote to communicate from one device to the other is um, a pretty snappy and responsive program. It does have one significant drawback though. Let's say that I've now finished, pardon me, let's say we've now finished with the program. So I'm all happy and let's turn off Bluetooth now on both devices. So now Bluetooth is off, I'm happy I've finished with my um, movie watching so let's go and go on the internet. And now I've decided that I want to, let's say I want to visit a website or do a search of some kind. So I type in the keyboard, I want to type in something but where is my keyboard? 
My keyboard has vanished because of one reason. I have forgot to turn off the keyboard on the program. So as you can see, we, the input is correct for tablet remote, but it's not useful for anything else. I need to actually turn back on my keyboard. And if you forget that, then uh, obviously that's a bit of a problem until you remember to fix it. Sounds like an insignificant thing, but if you're going to have to turn on and off the keyboard all the time in order to use a remote, that's going to put a lot of time and a lot of setup onto using a device. So again, let's go to um, a text message. Let's try and reply to this text. I can't reply to a text because my keyboard isn't there because I forgot to go to the tablet remote. and turn my keyboard back on like that so it's a lengthy process I thought this video was going to take about two to three minutes it's ended up taking seven minutes precisely because of that reason but there you are my request has been fulfilled I hope you enjoyed the video uh, any further requests or questions please do ask and I'll see you again in another video soon